Shalom, shalom. This is Amma Warm from the Life. Thank you for your Allah. Coming at you guys for another lesson. Hope it's edified to the Akim, to the Akwafim, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give our praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Holy Prophet two names. And I want to say, Call, Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Ha, Rakak, Wadash, Ma'amav. Double honors to the Apostles and the others of GMS. And salutations to the Akim. All right, that's pushing this truth around the four corners of the earth. And I also want to do a double honor to my elder as well. A heroine, Banyasha Allah, of the life that kept Banyasha Allah. And as you can see here, we just saw a few clips, man, in regards to what's going on right now uh, here in America. All right, we just had three major banks, uh, three major bank collapses happen to the, uh, this week. And there's many more to come. All right. And with that being said, man, we uh, the, the men of the Lord, the prophets of the Lord have been speaking about how the collapse is going to happen. All right. It's going to be a drastic collapse and it's going to hit home. All right. And as the scripture says, you know, the scriptures talks about how we shouldn't trust in thy enemy, you know, and we just saw in that in that picture where it's. It spoke about uh, how Biden says that the banking system is in a safe condition. All right, even if even after we just had this, uh, these three collapses happen. All right, and all right. So with that being said, you know, don't don't trust the don't, don't trust the enemy. Don't put your trust in his wealth. Don't put your trust in his money. All right, because it's gonna fail you. All right. But putting your trust in your, in your hope and your how about some Yahweh Shah, who give us richly all things. God, so I'm going to just jump into First Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. It says, Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, all right, Yahweh, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, man. So with that being said, man, it says, Charge them that are rich in this world, man. That they be not high minded, man. So they not not to put your pride and your trust, all right, in your uh in your hope in these riches, man. All right, because these riches are uncertain, man, and they are vanity as well, man. You know, because it, it doesn't give you no 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 real value, no no real stability, man. You know, like how the scriptures are, man. Because the scriptures are the comforter, all right. The scriptures is what the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which make of what you to be stable in the times to come, man. All right, because a lot of people are gonna flip out when they can't access their money in these banks, man. All right, so it says that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, Yahweh, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, man. Because the Lord ultimately is gonna give us everything that we want. Everything that we need, all right. He knows that what he knows the needs, all right, of his people, all right. So with that being said, we're not supposed to be what looking to establish ourselves with this money, man, all right. But to establish ourselves within the the borders of your help, our shot to be what on their foundation, all right. Because we know that we're not gonna fall, just like how these people are. That's gonna that that they have that love for money. You know, as the scriptures talks about in verse 10, it says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some converted after, all right, some people, you know, pretty much chased after, you know, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, man. Amen. Because Khan, the scriptures talks about how uh, those who watch up for riches, all right, all right, consume up the flesh. All right, it's just watch, watching for riches consume with the flesh, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man, you know, so a hey, all in all, it's, 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 it's vanity, man, and, you know, people who convict after it have done tremendous amount of, of, of wickedness, man, man, behind it, man, 
uh, people then killed over it. They didn't stole people, stole money from people. They didn't, they didn't did all types of things. You know what I'm saying? To get the bag, man. You know, but they're gonna see. They're gonna have a, a big sense of regret when they when they see the, the, the all they did all this stuff to their people. All right, all these things to their people. All right, it still didn't profit in anything, man. All right. So let me go down to um. Let me go down to verse. 19, all right, it says, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, man, all right, so if you turn back and, and you repent, all right, turn back to the Father, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh, Shah, man, all right, follow out the righteousness, man, all right, follow out the, the, the oracles and the ways of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, man, all right, there's no end, all right, there's no way to fall, man, all right, but falling out the, this evil fiat currency, I won't even say evil, but I would just say just falling out of this currency, man. All right. Putting your hopes and your your dreams into it. That's because especially a a two thirds of our people falling out for following after that American dream that Esau got set up, man. All right. All right. And that and that that, that system that Esau got set up is is to bring Jake down, man. All right. It's no he got it he got it set up to where, you know, you can't prosper in this place, man. But the Lord allows us to. You know, in, in through his spirit, man. But with that being said, man, I'm just gonna get straight to the next scripture, man. All right. So I'm gonna go to Proverbs. All right, this is Proverbs chapter twenty three, verse three. It says, Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. All right. And that, that word dainties is like delicacies, man, or the uh Lust, you know what I'm saying, or you know what I'm saying, pretty much, you know. But it says, be, it says, be not desirous of his dainties, man. And and this and this is in regards to these riches, man. You know, it says, for they are deceitful meat. It says, labor not to be rich, seize from thy own understanding. It's like it says, seize from thy own wisdom. All right. It says, what well, doubt. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make them themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven, man. And this and this uh, brings me to the scripture of Haggai 1 and 6, where it talks about, you know, those who earn of wages, earn of wages to put it in a bag made with, uh, filled with holes, man. All right. So what the scripture says, was says to be not desirous of these uncertain riches, man, you know, hey, because a, a many have converted after it, man, all right, and have erred, all right, so what, it says what, labor not to be rich, man, so a hey, labor not to be rich in this, in this, in this kingdom, or in this world, man, all right, but labor to be rich in Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shah, man, but eating the whole road, all right, because the Lord ain't got a big plate, sit on the table man he prepared a table for us man for us to eat you know for us to to gain the riches of the lord man to, to have the, un the everlasting riches man you know but our people don't want to eat from the lord's table they want to eat from the from the other man's table they want to eat uh the table of esau man all right and that's how people are going to be deceived man you know, and that's how they are being deceived, you know. Verse verse five says, Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make them make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven, man. So they, these these riches, these so called riches is gonna fall and it's gonna fall hard, man. All right, and it, hey, you're not gonna be able to do anything with it, man. You know, a verse six says, eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty, dainty meats, man. So a hey, eat not the bread from, from him that have an evil eye, man. So eat not from that table of the wickedness, man, you know, but to eat from the table of righteousness, man, eating to eat from the table of your house, man, 
And because again, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding shall be the stability of thy times, man. All right. And let me go down to. I got one and six. It says, "Ye have sown much and bring in lit and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes, man. And I was just bringing that scripture out again because, you know, a all all in all, everything." When you, you know, according to these riches, man, it's, it's not but vanity, man. You know, and though we have to, it says, it says, you don't, if you don't work, you don't eat. Yeah, we have to work to, to survive, man. But our people uh, covet after it, all right? They chase the bag, man, you know, tremendously, man. They go overboard, all right, just to make themselves to be in a state of still not being rich, man, because what our people still be in a needy still still be needy you know what i'm saying you know especially laboring for esau you know a damn the most of our people living uh paycheck to paycheck man. but with that being said man put not your trust in these uncertain riches man all right because it's just like earn of wages that earn of wages to be put into a bag with holes man you're not gonna gain anything man but hey you're gonna also Gain damnation, man, if you keep following after it and not falling after the real riches, man. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to say it's Shalom.